Hey guys, Pastor Chris here. Welcome to Poolside Chat. Uh, very full pool. Had a shower come through. Very noisy shower. I had some questions come up because if you remember, we talked a little about the power of prayer. Is there power? And there is. And I want to go a little more into this because one of the questions that came up oh I feel like I'm slipping sorry one of the questions that came up was why why do we get cancer and uh, you know how do you get prostate cancer why did you get cancer why and I kept thinking I want to read you something. This is a story of, in the book of John of the man born blind. I love this story for a number of reasons, but I want to read just the first four or five verses. This is John chapter 9. I'm going to start in verse 1. And it says, As he, he being Jesus, as he went along, he saw a man blind from birth. His disciples asked him, Rabbi, who sinned? This man or his parents that he was born blind. Back in Jesus' day, it was always thought that different physical illnesses, issues, came from sin. It was a punishment, if you will. So Jesus answers, Verse 3. Neither this man nor his parents sinned, said Jesus. But this happened so that the works of God might be displayed in him. As long as it is day, we must do the works of him who sent me. Night is coming when no one can work. While I am in the world, I am the light of the world. But what I want you to focus on why this bad thing, being born blind, happened to this fella? Was it the sin of his parents? Was it the sin of, you know, him? But the answer of Jesus is what I want you to notice. But this happened so that the works of God might be displayed in him. See, one of the questions that is asked and this is no specific question. A lot of questions. Why can someone pray? Pray hard. You know, anything. Save my sick relative and they die. Let my friend with a drinking problem stop drinking and he doesn't. rescue this person, protect this person, and it doesn't happen. Is it a lack of faith? Is it a lack of prayer? Is it God's mean? God doesn't care? What prayer does and what the miracle is, is it aligns our will, thoughts, feelings, or us more in line with God so that the power of God can be seen. See, there are things we want, but if prayer was about us, all these things would change. But since Prayer is about not so much making God conform to us, but it's helping us conform to God so that we can be more in tune with God, so that we can ask God to help us see things through His eyes, His perspective, and be with us so He can work through us in whatever situation it is. And there is a beauty, there is a power, there is a strength 
through being able to do that and see that and realize that and take advantage of that and understand that, that that's what prayer is. So I hope this helps because it's a question we often ask. Why do these bad things happen? Why doesn't God fix this bad stuff? Because he's working through the bad stuff to help us conform to Him so that His will is done through us. It's amazing that we get to be an instrument, a vessel, a partner, a person that God can work through and use to accomplish His will. So, I hope this helps. But read this story. This is John chapter 9, the story of the man born blind. And look. Look how God works. The power of God and the power of prayer that gets God to align us with Him. I might talk more about this as this journey goes on, but uh, I wanted to address this while it came up. Guys, thanks for listening. Um, Keep the questions coming. I'm answering them as best I can. We'll get to all of them. Facebook, YouTube, Rumble, at FL Compass Church, and on Instagram, at FL Compass Church. Be blessed, guys. Have a great week, and we'll see you Saturday.